Uh, hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Golden Satawa. I'm wearing my mom's sweater. So that co she used to wear this sweater a lot, but then she gave it to me. Um, it's kind of baggy, but it fits me. Um, anyways, um, today I'm going to be tor talking about pants. Um, but like, first and foremost, right, this is kind of off topic, but I'd like to formally apologize to, um, the user Dracula, who commented on my previous video telling me that I should make, that this video should be me talking about my first ever crush, um, which I was gonna do, but then I, I got kind of scared, because how in the world does Dracula know that I have a crush on someone, so... I'm sorry about that, but that was a very, very intimidating. Um, and also, what's it called? My classmates watch my channel, and so do, does do my 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 brother, my uncle, and my mom. So I cannot speak about that because I do not want to get humiliated. Um, anyways, so yeah, pants. Today I bought some pants. Well, my father did. Well, um, you see, today we went shopping, it was, it was very fun, we, we went to the gym, and then, my mom and I, we went to the gym, and then we got some Turkish kebabs for lunch, my dad came along for that, and then we went to, we went to the sports store, and we, initially we, we were just gonna get a school bag, because I need a bigger bag for school, I think that I've talked about this before, but my bag, oh, uh, my, my, my other bag that I had for school, it did not fit any of my stuff. Well, it did fit my stuff. But it was massive. This All this stuff in my bag, it was massive. It was fluttering out of my bag. Which, um, it was very heavy. It was a very small bag. So we bought a 33 liter bag and it's it's massive. I would show you guys it. It would... This is, this is the bag. This is the bag. And it's massive, it has a bajillion pockets in it. And like, it's, it's massive. And it fits everything and more. You know, fits is an understatement for this bag. It is like, so big. Um. I could probably fit in it. Well, maybe if you, like, if you, like, squish me, then I'll be able to fit in it. Not my current vessel, but, like, if I, if I get, like, really squished down like a bug, then I could fit into it. Um, because, like, actually, yeah, I was thinking about this the other day, this is completely off topic, but I was thinking about this the other day while I was at the gym, I saw these kettlebells, like, they were, like, massive kettlebells, well, but they weren't massive, because, like, they, they were very heavy, right? They were, like... I'm pretty sure they were like 40 kilo ones, and they were only about like that big. Like that can totally fit in this bag. And like that's about how much I weigh. Like, Jesus Christ, how could that, t how could that thing fit in there? I mean, it would be very heavy, yes, but, well, I mean, it wouldn't like, would it? I don't know. Anyways. Oh yeah, that's right, pants. So we found some pants. Well, actually, no, we were looking at pants after we had found the bag, and, and, and we saw the pants. I don't have them with me currently because they are currently in the laundry, but they are workout pants. They are flared. Initially, I just, I, cause you see, usually when I'm going to the gym, right, I wear the, 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 the gym fabric, fabric pants, and their three quarters are really tight, and then they have a bunch of pockets on them. But I don't like three quarter leggings. I like full length leggings. So I wanted to find some full length leggings. And full length leggings I found, in fact, they are flared. Like, my legs, and then they flared. Like, that is like really, really cool. My parents were worried that I would trip over, but that's alright. Because I'm sure that I. Hopefully. But anyways, yeah, so we found the flared jeans. I did not want to buy, like, I looked at them and I was just like, oh my gosh, I totally need these. Because, but then, like, I looked at the price. $140. For pants. 
what in the world is up with that? Because, like, you see, I, I want thinking about getting some more workout pants, right? Because I needed, like, the full-length ones. I was just going to thrift them. But we were at, already at the sports store, so I thought, hey, these are pretty cool. And then I saw the flared ones, and I was like, oh my god, I need these. But I saw the price, and I got scared off, and I was just like, no, 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 don't buy these, don't buy these, don't buy these, please. Because, like, I want my parents to save their money. But guess what? My dad, he's really, really nice. So he decided to buy the, buy the pants. But, like, it was it was kind of a conundrum, because, like, there was a size S and a size 10. They were the same. They were the same size, except one of them looked slightly bigger. They, they were the, like the exact same. They had the same size waist and, and like I was kind of apprehensive about what it fit, what would fit me, because you know I've talked about this before, but women's clothing sizes are strange, and this is another example of that. Like, why is the S the same size as the ten? Why are they different? Why do they have different labels? Um, that was confusing, but it's annoying because. Usually the pants I wear, their size, um, the, like, my leather pants, which are also expensive for some reason, not expensive because they're leather, but why are the gym pants more expensive? But, like, anyway, yeah, the leather pants, they're, like, size 6, which is also, like, maybe extra small, like, why is their numbers? And then why is there the small, medium, large, extra small, extra large, extra, extra small, extra, extra large, why? Why can't it just be numbers? It would be, it would, why, why even is it the numbers? Why can't they just be the normal size? Well, actually, no. Why can't they just talk about, like, the circumference? Like, why can't it be in measurements instead instead of just, like, random numbers? You know? It's confusing. Um... Oh yeah, guys, did I tell you about this dream that I had? Actually, no. First, I'd like to say that clothing is expensive. That's why I like to go thrifting. Also, it's sustainable. Um, anyways, yeah, I had this really weird dream the other night. And I wanted to tell you guys about it. So, you see, what had happened was my, we were, my family and I, we were all in a car. My mom's car. Everyone. Everyone in my entire family, we were in a car. A tiny little car. And my mom, she had bought me my own car. And it was in a, it was folded in a cardboard box. It was a one person car and it was bright yellow. And it was, it was a school day and it was like almost nine. And we were going on a little drive to the other side of the country so that I could try it out. I had not taken the depth school. I was still in my school uniform about to go to school. But my mom insisted that we needed to go on the drive. And so we went on the drive. It was very hard. So that I could drive my one person neon yellow car um but then I heard my school bell ring and I was just like oh no I'm gonna be late but then I realized oh no it's all right it's all right it won't matter the teachers probably won't care but then I remembered in my dream oh no it's Tuesday um, I have English first period. English is my favorite class because my favorite teacher, Miss Olada, teaches that class. And so I was so sad that it was a Tuesday and that I would be late for school. And I, I started shaking violently in my dream. And I, I, I had a kind of a breakdown and I kind of cried. And I was shaking, right? And I was shaking, and I like like that, right? And because I've been playing Animal Crossing nonstop, well, not nonstop. I turned off my Switch to record this video, but I was I I was holding my Nintendo Switch as well in the car, and I was shaking, and I I accidentally like snapped in half. But the thing was, Animal Crossing I was still playing. I could still play it, but it was held together by a single wire, the two sides of the Nintendo Switch. It was a very confusing dream. And then I woke up, and I thought, yay, my Nintendo Switch isn't broken. And also, it wasn't a school day. I'm not sure why it was Tuesday in my dream, because it was like Saturday when I had this dream. Um.
Anyways, I'm in love with my school bag. And, um, I'm going to wear my new flared gym pants on Tuesday when I go to the gym again. And I hope that I don't fall over. Well, I mean, I hope I won't. Um, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all of these updates. Bye-bye.